Hello everyone, I just quickly want to let you guys know that I actually have some merch that you can get right now in the description below. So for some of you guys who actually haven't even seen the Art of Toon Link, I have been drawing my own art and it's also kind of photoshopped at the same time. So the ones that I specifically have are really really high quality and it's basically a canvas that um, you can also get if you want to. Of course, you can also decide yourself if you want to buy all of them or just some of them. Again, you can purchase these by clicking on the link in the description or in the comments below. Enjoy the video. Violet is here and is pretty simple and straightforward. The character has long range with good strength, can be a bit slow in most cases, but the angle that their moves send and the incredibly versatile edge guarding makes up for it. Their normal weights and the fall speed or fast fall speed is just like normal as well. So their plan in neutral is pretty self-explanatory. Zone out the opponent, keep them at max range, and get in on the opponent to whiff punish once you see a potential miss, or anti-air them once you feel that they are about to jump to try working around your range. Get them off stage and try killing them. This character will work a lot like Corrin, or any of the other Fire Emblem characters in that they rely heavily on stage control and cornering their opponents. The only two big differences is that they have a bigger focus on tech chasing and being able to edge guard both low and high at the same time. Now, let's get into the moves that they typically want to use in the neutral. Forward air, back air, neutral air, down tilt, and up special which is primarily for catching jumps. Neutral special is also amazing for neutral, but it's more so about how and when you cancel it, which we'll get into later. Forward air and back air both have very strong sweet spots at the tip of the spear, back air being a bit stronger and sending opponents at a more downwards angle. Back air also has a late hit compared to forward air, so it lasts for 3 frames longer, while forward air comes out a frame faster and ends much quicker. So you're able to do full hop forward air to neutral air. And especially if you jump double jump, you're able to do two forward airs before you land. If you're buffering the short hop forward air and back air, you'll always want to fast fall immediately, which will let you put up your shield five frames faster than if you didn't fast fall. Hitting these at low percents will set up for a tech chase, which you can follow up with almost anything depending on the read. Hit the inner sour spots and you can combo into the sweet spot. Obviously hitting the sour spots isn't safe against shield at all and for the sake of shield pressure you should always be spacing the strong hit. As after the forward air, back air and even down tilt you can choose between going for a jump straight after for more pressure, dash away to try whiff punishing, shield to try counter attacking or immediately mix up with another attack. Whichever attack you do depends on what option the opponent usually goes for and what you want to cover. At mid to high percents, the forward air and back air will mostly only launch opponents off stage for edge guard setups, or kill straight away. Neutral air is not safe against shield in most cases, but will still have a high chance of shield poking. Normally it has 4 hits, but there is also a landing hitbox, so as a mix up, you could use all the 4 hits, then fast fall for the 5th, which if they keep shielding isn't safe either, and will most likely get you punished. Either way, neutral air will be a really important mix up in neutral. When you do hit this move however, you can choose between fast falling with a delay so that after the 4th hit you can get a potential follow up, or fast fall immediately to get the landing hitbox which basically will set up for a tech chase. Not fast falling whatsoever during the neutral air will only make things slower in general for you and will lessen its combo potential, since there is no auto cancel. It's still an amazing short hop or full hop anti-air however. Anyways, at starting percents, if you connect the 4th hit and fast fall just right, you can combo it into another neutral air, forward air or forward tilt. If you fast fall it to get the landing hit, you'll be able to combo it into down tilt which could lead into another neutral air. At high percents is where the neutral air will be really important to fast fall however, since the tech chase is perfect for killing the opponent. And in general the only two kill setups you have on stage is either the neutral air tech chase or down tilt to up air. There are no other kill setups or kill throws. Otherwise down tilt will be very safe pressure against the shield. From starting to low percents, down tilt can combo into forward tilt, up tilt or jump neutral air if performed immediately and correctly. Or you can choose to read their air dodge, or punish their double jump. Then around mid to high percents you can start going for down tilt to up air. 
The up special does not beat shields, and works differently depending on the percentage. If the opponent is anything from 0 to 45%, they'll be launched upwards together with you for combos. Anything above 46% and there will be no combo. Instead, they'll be launched downwards for a spike. They can't tech for some reason, but they will always be able to DI behind you to avoid any setup. The one time this is really useful is if you up B them close to the ledge at high percents while facing the stage. That way, if they DI behind you, they will just get spiked and die, leaving them with no DI or DI towards the stage, making it a bit of a 50-50. There is also a bit of depth for the up special below 46% when it combos. After you bounce on their head, you can hold towards them and simply buffer a back air, assuming they don't DI at all. If they DI to the right, you'll always be connecting the back air pretty easily. However, if they DI to the left or behind you, the back air will miss if you just simply buffer it. And instead, what you need to do is buffer a jump back air. That way, you go lower and more towards them. But if you read their DI wrong and they're actually holding to the right, then you'll only connect the sour spot. So sometimes it becomes a bit of a guessing game. Same thing applies for comboing into the side special. If they don't DI or DI to the right, you can simply buffer side special at lower percents. And if they DI to the left or behind you, simply holding side special won't connect. Instead, you'll need to perfectly time the double jump into side special. And that way, it can connect. And you cannot buffer the double jump with side B, by the way which might still combo on some characters. If it doesn't, you should just stick to back air. And even then, remember that it still might not combo against every character. And with the help of platform, not only is it easier, but it also allows you to combo them at higher percents. There is a specific combo you can do where you up special into neutral air into a second up special neutral air. This will only work on DK if he air dodges. If he only dies away and does nothing at all, he'll be fine. The only way to catch him again is to fast fall slightly and then up B, which he'll survive anyway. And even then, he can actually delay his air dodge and get out of the whole thing. Side special has two different variants. The first one is done by holding forward already and then pressing the B button, which only moves you forward a little bit. And the second is done by smashing the forward and B button input, which moves you forward much more. The reason you want to be in control of how far you move in is because the early and close range hit of this move is a weak sour spot. And of course, you want to aim for the sweet spot. Just keep in mind that it's not safe on shield. It's not bad since it covers a lot of space, but on stage, it's still a high risk, low reward move. So you don't want to use it too much in neutral. And instead, it's much better to edge guard with, as well as it can help you pressure the opponent before you grab the ledge. Up air has a big hitbox that lasts for a long time and is perfect for anti-airing and killing. You could also fast fall it to drag opponents down for mix-ups, none of which are true, but can still be worth to do sometimes. It's also close to impossible to land with this move to hit grounded opponents unless they are tall, so it's strictly to hit people above you. Down air is extremely strong and has a huge spike hitbox. It does also have smaller hitboxes on the side that launch the opponent away, however. It's never safe against shield, but it'll deal massive shield damage. One cool trick is that you can jump and immediately double jump in down air to hit a shield and auto cancel it when landing for mix ups. So, just like Lucina and Marth, after the opponent blocks anything you do, both the down air and down smash can break a shield very easily, making blocking a secondary time very scary. Down smash is actually exactly just as fast as shield breaker, and also beefy as hell, dealing massive damage. And the launch angle almost sends the opponent upwards, so you'll want to DI this move either downwards or down and diagonally away. Down smashing while cornered will actually cancel the move and let you grab the ledge. The down special is pretty obvious. Once you've broken a shield, that's when you use it. The only other use could be that you read high recovery and punish it. Forward Smash has amazing range, great for whiff punishing, and can be used as a mix-up to kill after a landed aerial. It's generally not safe against shield, but can still be used against slow characters that have a hard time punishing it. Up Smash will be your main out-of-shield option, as it actually hits opponents from pretty far away. Up Special is 2 frames faster, but only better if you are close enough or if they are below 46%. It doesn't lead into any combos, but it's still a really good tool to start a juggle and catch landings. Forward tilt and up tilt safety is mostly dependent on the matchup. Spacing it against half of the cast is usually safe, while on others it depends whether they are facing you or turned around. Up tilt will always be safer though if you hit with the back hit, and will allow for good combos. 
Either way, forward tilt will be a simple tool to wall the opponents out, and up tilt will be a simple anti-air against opponents falling on top of you. The forward tilt sets up into tech chase from 15 to 30% and will start killing at very high percents. Same thing for up tilt, it will start killing at really high percents. Dash attack is a situational whiff punisher, and will also start killing around the same percent, if you hit with the tipper sweet spot, instead of the inner sour spot, which is mostly for setting up into tech situations from 10 to 30 percentage, while the sweet spot can set up for tech chases from 0 to 20 percentage. Be careful though, as it's not safe against shield. Jab is simple. The triple hit is for launching them for tech situations, and the rapid jab is for launching them off stage, none of which are safe against shield. And then we have fail not which can only shoot a weak arrow or a strong arrow that you have to charge up. So there's only two timings to releasing the arrow. The weak arrow can be cancelled with a shield, downwards flick or jump. As well as you can be reverse. But as soon as you charge up for the strong arrow, you can no longer cancel it. Which realistically you'll almost never hit so you won't be using it much. Instead, what you will be using is the cancel as a visual conditioner. They won't want to shield the arrow as now they'll be at risk of getting their shield broken, and they have to respect it as it does a lot of damage and knockback. And so most of the time they'll want to jump over it, meaning you can use this visual conditioning to control when and where the opponent jumps, which will put you at least a little bit more in control. As for grabs, down throw will be your main throw and will usually be followed up into forward air. As if they DI away, nothing else will work. And the combo stops working around 50%. Unless they are at 0%, then maybe you'll be able to get a dash in neutral air. Forward throw and back throw is simply to launch opponents off stage. An up throw can set up into juggles, as if they don't DI at all, they'll be forced to air dodge, since double jumping can be caught with up special. However, if they DI away, nothing will work. It can also be useful for tech chases onto the top platform of Battlefield. And now for the edge guarding phase. Because you'll be launching the opponent at such low angles, it'll be very easy for you to run off stage and cover low with an aerial while also covering high as soon as the opponent tries dodging your low recovery. One thing to keep in mind is that you cannot up special an opponent when you're close to the ledge as it'll prioritize the ledge instead, unless you are far off stage. Something else you can do is to grab the ledge first, then release and you'll be able to up special for a whole second wherever without grabbing the ledge. And on top of this, obviously you can also trump to an up special or trump to a side special. So most of the time it's very encouraged for you to go off stage whenever you can, especially since Byless recovery is extremely good. Not only can it snap the ledge from extremely far away, but it can also cling to walls that you could normally wall jump off of. And you'll basically wall jump off of it and can do anything. Even if you miss the edge guard, you'll have some pretty decent mix-ups to get back from the ledge. Not only can you release the ledge and up special right away to wall jump and still be able to double jump, but you can also side special to pressure shields before jumping in with something like forward air or neutral air. The side special is actually perfect for shield pressure as you'll be grabbing the ledge as soon as the attack comes out. And lastly, we have the ledge trapping phase. Unfortunately, the down tilt won't hit half the cast. When it does, however, it should always be used since it can lead into combos. Side special can hit opponents hanging, but it'll only hit with the sour spot so it's not effective. And so instead, you have to rely on forward smash downwards or down smash. Forward smash on its own can actually cover all the getups depending on your timing. Not only does it cover ledge stall, but it easily covers regular getup, getup attack, ledge rolls, and if you predict a ledge jump, you can angle it up and release it earlier to try scoring a kill. You could also stick with shielding and using neutral air as it can actually catch all the ledge options depending on your timing and how you drift it. Since even though in theory back air and forward air are really good to wall them out, it's really hard to catch ledge jumps, as forward air and back air are very specific and they can easily get over or under it, while neutral air has a much easier time catching a ledge jump. Biolift does come with some glaring weaknesses though. Not only are they slow with low air mobility, but they also have a hard time landing due to the lack of mix-ups and bad aerials to even land with. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support this channel, then please consider helping me out on Patreon. There's a lot of awesome rewards that you can get, you'll get sessions, and you'll also be able to watch these artifs way earlier than anyone else. And if you can support me on Patreon, then please consider sharing these videos to your friends. Also, don't forget to check out the merch in the description below.